am Elvira Monteforte. I am doing a residency as an artist here in the Lions Park, beautiful park. I thought these trees never get the attention of people. They, they give them for granted and, and they are kind of majestic because uh, they are, first of all, a community, a family, and a, a very diverse in, in species. So, together with my partner, because we are Dolores Altin and I uh, working in this artist, uh, artist residency, we made a merge uh, in our proposal. She has been following very near the, the findings of a professor in, in UBC, Susan Samard. She found out uh, and demonstrated scientifically how the trees, in fact, have a communication, really deep communication, like human communication. They do not use words, but they use kind of the same, a language that is uh, through their roots with different channels to, to, to have communication. and. She demonstrates how cooperative is the society of the trees. They are not fighting for light or water. In fact, they are doing incredible, uh, give the mother tree leading the rest of the trees to healthy life, to long life, to incredible society. inspiration like something really in fluidity is not fixed. I did a very different experiments. Uh, the inspiration sometimes it was to get old furniture and try to renovate it with paint. Right now what I can say that it's my inspiration in the present moment, the new me, is the challenge to have random materials to do random final product. So right now in this project, I am working with a plastic mesh and weave or stitch some parts. Uh, some are from the dollar store, some others I found it just there in the forest. Or just the opportunity to not not plan exactly what to design, but to design because of these random uh, materials. I love to do that. For the moment, that is my favorite inspiration. The main benefit of being an artist is that you have to be in close contact with your own nature, with, the, with your essence. You have to have a relationship with the language of your heart. If you don't have that, uh, you cannot be creative. Creativity comes from deeper, deeper layers of, of, your, of your being. It, it's not something that you can uh, get out of the intellect. So in this case, it's really beneficial to, to take a deep journey into your own, into yourself. That, that brings you more knowledge of who you really are and, and then bring out your self-expression out of that. In this moment, my greatest challenge is to find the way of make a living of being an artist. I, I, I am not in that uh, ability. I am much more in the creative part, but not in the commercial part or, or but I need to mention that working with 
for Coquitlam and the support and grants and the opportunities, calling for artists and all this latest four years that I have been trying to follow the, that path has instructed me a lot more of ways of of understand how to promote or how to be alive as a as an artist but that is a big challenge <laughs> lived in Port Moody, in Coquitlam, in Port Coquitlam, but especially Port Coquitlam, it's the, it's, it has been in such a disposition to, to look at me, to help me, to, to support me, that I really found a, a shelter in, in Port Coquitlam. Art is important because that is the, the glue that makes human race be together, just under one language, under one roof, under one uh, 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 way to, to touch each other, to relate each other. So under the art, everybody is, is just one human being touched by art.